live. Um, and this year, I have some more people to help me review Doctor Who! Yeah! Ooh, Woo. So, um, let me introduce some of the people you all know. You know Connor, right here. Hi. And you know Alex. Hi! Um, but the two new people that are joining us this year is Leighton Williams. Say yes. hi. Hi. And this is Rachel Hernandez. So. Uh, now, all of us do have YouTube channels, and I will link their channel in the description below. But, anyways, today's episodes we are going over is um, 1 and 2 of Doctor Who Series 9, um, The Magician's Apprentice and The Witch's Familiar. So, um, I guess uh, we should start off with um, kind of the beginning, I guess, really. Um, it's a good place to start. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The start is a very good place. So. <laughs> or, so, is it, or is it the end? Who knows? Um, <laughs> So, okay, so, so what did you guys think of, um, so I, I take it you guys, did you guys see the, the prequels for the series? I was yeah. forced to. Uh, yes. I yes. saw the one, I didn't see the one with the party, or the lead up to the party. Okay. Oh, you but I saw that afterwards. You didn't see the well? No, I didn't see the well, but I, oh. well, oh. but, 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 I, <laughs> yeah. I, but I appreciated it after I saw it, like, I, I, after I saw the episode I went on Tumblr to look at all the spoilers that I was avoiding. Uh, and I found it, and I was like, ah, oh, that fills in so many holes. <laughs> it makes me care about a character that betrayed the Doctor. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I mean, yeah, so at the end of the second prequel, we're introduced to a battlefield. Now, at the beginning of the episode, um, of course, we see the battlefield, um, and we're introduced to this, this little, little kid, you know, he's just running and so forth. Um, he is. I'm pretty sure he's wearing a Gryffindor sweatshirt. That's like, what I was under. thinking like when we were watching. I, I swear I saw it. I was like, that's good. I thought we were talking about Doctor Who. <laughs> we are. We, we are, are, but it's like right under but, his costume. Yeah, it was like cross, the red and gold. Cross fandom. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how many clothes do they really have in Britain? Let's be Not real. a lot. They, yeah. have, they have one, like, two sets and like five different clothes. shirts. And that's they have about one it. warehouse where they keep all the costumes yeah. ever. Yeah. I hope Britain is just Hogwarts. The other half is. <laughs> Middle Earth. Who. Yeah. So Middle Earth. There's, there's one road that's bigger. Bye. 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 Say goodbye to my roommate Jail, guys. Yep. Hand the camera over. Just I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what do you do? You're a filmmaker. <laughs> Use the force. Use the force. Use the force. <laughs> All right. Anyways, anyways, guys, get back here. Okay. Right. So, so we're introduced to the kid, and we're introduced to this um, battle that um, apparently has been going on for years. Um, and we saw battle, it's a war. Well, it's yeah, war it's, a, like, it's the battle yeah. of a war. With yeah. a dude with a bow and arrow. And yeah, old war. I really like the mix between like futuristic technology and mm -hmm. old time. Yeah. Yeah. I've always liked yeah. that. A little old fashioned bow and arrow. It has like, it has like, like a. And it's like a Hunger Games vibe to it. Yeah. Well, and I mean, if you think about it, if you look at the planes that are shooting lasers, um, go back to the episode in series five, Victory of the Daleks. Mm -hmm. Remember the airplanes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were the exact same airplanes. Well, there were a lot of callbacks. So, um, yeah, so he, he <laughs> loves, to reference, loves to reference himself. Um, <laughs> That's one thing. But yeah, so I mean, that, that was kind of a foreshadowing to, hey, this is actually... Muppets the Doctor Who equivalent of Donald Trump. <laughs> not really. Um, I'd say not so. really. Well, that's a big statement. That's a that's, big statement. That's kind of extreme. <laughs> that is a... Okay, anyways, that's just no, no uh, political... No nope, politics. Ooh. This is Doctor Who. This is Doctor Who. This is British. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, anyways. What's the Prime Minister doing? <laughs> Which one? I don't know politics. How do you know politics in America? <laughs> Anyways, I don't so think anybody does. So we're introduced to a war, um, of of a battle within a war. Um. So okay, so after you know we get through the um, you know the kid and the soldier talking, um. We hear about these things called the hand mines that are literally hands that come out and have eyes in the middle so, of them. They're so creepy. Um, I didn't like them. I didn't like them. I, <laughs> lo I love the concept of them, but yeah, that was like, ugh. What, I'm not what, a fan of hands. What'd you guys, hey, what'd you guys think of this? <laughs> hey. um, I thought it was a very cool setup for the episode. A, a, this whole episode, what, the first part, uh, The Magician's Apprentice, was uh, so full of 
WTF. Yeah. And that, mm-hmm. that was just yeah. like, just the thing that got the roller coaster rolling. Like yeah. the first drop, it's just I like, like, what? Davros? He's saving freaking Davros? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but yeah. I, I feel like the hand mines really set the uncomfortable mood of yeah. the whole. Yeah, thing. oh yeah. yeah. Like the hand real. with the eyeball in the mud and the. Ugh. And yes. I mean, the point where the guy was taken <laughs> underneath, I was like, oh, and you. Yeah, yeah, so she got real, real yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah. 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 so real. <laughs> and then, of course, we. And of course, he was black. Mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first guy that was black. The first guy yeah. to die in a horror movie was the black guy. Later on, with Missy, she shoots a black guy first, and then. <laughs> yeah, not helping the stereotype. But uh, Sorry. anyways, Mop, Moppet's really good at making like normal things creepy, though. Oh like, yeah, I, yeah, I, so I give sure. him credit for that because yeah. like hands, hands <laughs> are not like, that creepy. But it's really so, annoying when you're just like walking around and you see like Wi-Fi yeah. and it's a weird, weird one. It's like, no, you are not gonna trap me. And it's like, yeah. No. So, you know, once we get past the hand mines, the dude disappears. We see a sonic fly through the air. And clearly we know the doctor's there. Mm-hmm. So my question to you guys is, since Alex kind of already said it, the, per- the kid is Davros. Um, spoiler <laughs> Wait, spoiler oh. early! <laughs> Gosh! Um, Oops. What? So, what, what? Bruce Willis is dead the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what, what, what was your guys' reaction to the fact that it was Davros? Because I, 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 I had only heard... Um, Rumors that it was possibly going to be Davros. It wasn't confirmed at all. He had a very audible reaction. It was kind of funny. Yeah. I was like, what? Everyone just kind of like eyes wide and on the couch, and we're all just like, oh my god. Oh, uh, yeah. I knew something was up. I didn't suspect that it was going to be anything like that. But like this first part, the first part before like the opening credits never goes on this long. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah. what is this? And then it was just the doctor talking with this kid and, and talking about how he's going to save him. And I'm like, yeah. well, why doesn't he just save him? Why get, why are you dragging this out? And I'm like, yeah. Mm. And we had a very interesting cut to Colony Sarth, which was just very like dropping it right off the bat. Like we don't even see like the consequences until very down the line. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about him for a second. Colony Sarth? <laughs> yeah. Snakes, man. <laughs> Why did it have to Why be snakes? Had to be s- a man on Heelys. Free. Going around. <laughs> no, no. Or like, no or like I can't just like riding snakes like a or like, one of those, yeah. like, or like on one of those new age skateboards that you have to like go. Yeah, the hoverboard. I don't know. Yeah, all I could think of was one of those like snake mating balls like going on under his thing and it was crossing me out. I was like, whoa. See, personally, I... Very democracy, though. I was like, call me Sarge, so okay, it's just a whole bunch of snakes, that's whatever. Yeah. What I did like was the actual design of the character. I did oh, like how yeah. the snake yeah. 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 It was cool. Yeah, yeah I liked how, like, yeah, that was pretty, it, it that made was pretty it look like they tied a rope around his face and they just kept tight. Yeah. <laughs> but they it tighter, looked creepy, tighter, it was tighter, cool. Tighter. And the actor's movements to give, yeah. definitely gave him that yeah. snake yeah. Like, there was yeah. no, like, we yeah. knew there was something with snakes in it the moment. Yeah. 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 yeah for sure. Why did it have to be snakes? But, I mean, um, the, I, I find it funny, though, um, so he was like, he was going, you know, all over around the, the galaxy trying to find the doctor. The funniest scene, I think, was actually when he went to the Shadow Proclamation, and they're like, hey, we just happen to have a, an intruder. We're not going to ask why, we just do. Can we also talk about how we just found the Shadow Proclamation after not seeing it probably since the Dr. Donna? Yeah, <laughs> really. For real. It's never like, showing up. I feel like in this like episode alone, it's just so many callbacks to the before Matt yeah. Smith era. You know? Yeah. 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 You know, I haven't seen Davro since uh, Matt. That same. Like, yeah. I feel, yeah. I feel yeah. like Moffat was finally like, oh, you know what? I should probably make some connections because right now it's standing on its own and like. Yeah. I Moffat, mean, you know, I, this is a thing. Like, reminds me of this is happening show. in the same let's universe. Be, let's be real. Moffat just watched that two parter with David Tennant when they go back. To find like the earth and all the other planets he watched that and then these two episodes yeah, <laughs> yeah. he was like oh, oh i remember that we should throw that in there oh that daleks everywhere summer. yeah so so yeah i found it funny how he you know he could just uh maybe be a artificial mascot yeah um <laughs> just completely different franchise you know <laughs> the fact that he just walks in but the surprising part about the shadow proclamation scene was like they knew instantly he was working for Davros. Yeah. And like the I second mean, they mentioned it he was like Well I okay mean, I'm out. I mean <laughs> yes they are the Shadow Proclamation so they probably have some info on that. 
they're basically the CIA of like. The but I mean, at the same yeah. time, it's like how, like, where did you start to get the information that he was working for Davros? Well, we're yeah. looking Drones. at a period of time where it Drones. is so far after that of Davros coming back with Tenet um, that, yeah. like, we're obviously because obviously. Davros wasn't dying then, and in this episode, Davros is dying. Mm -hmm. So such a period of time has passed that Davros is dying, but the Shadow Proclamation is still around. Yeah. Well, they yeah. collected data within that period of time, I'm sure. True, yeah. probably. True, true, yeah. yeah. And he's just... It, it made it seem that like Davros was actually still doing stuff to yeah. in the galaxy, yeah. mm -hmm. or the universe, or whatever you call it. Yeah. Um, so he, it's, he's not just dormant until he's needed for another episode. Like he's, like, he, he's, yeah, he's, he's like a ruler. He's constantly, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, he's like he's like the presence in the universe that's still there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah so, um, so yeah. So we, we get through all the stuff. Um, we finally get to you know the fact. Um, we get to the title sequence and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, all we that haven't stuff. even gotten to the title sequence yet. That's um, how this is going so far. <laughs> and then, so we actually um, we start. The rest of the episode at the Cole Hill School, um, where Clara obviously is still teaching. Um, Her job is kind of vague all the time. Yeah, it's it's yeah. like she's like, teaching she, different is, topics. Is she, yeah, she a, I think it's like. Yeah. Is I she think, a substitute? Is she a proper teacher? I think she is a proper teacher. I, I, think, I think she's, she's a, proper, a proper teacher. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm not familiar with. Maybe her it's like, maybe it's like fifth grade or something like that. It's not fifth grade. It's because definitely. Like I would say like middle late, school. Like middle school. Yeah, early it's like seventh or eighth grade. Well, yeah. she seems, oh, like, I mean, she seems like you're she's seven or like you're eight. <laughs> well, she seems like she's teaching like different subjects, though. Well, I mean, well, teachers yeah. do that. Like, I know, I know that, but it's like, but I get what you're saying. In middle school, you go teach a teacher. Teach, each teacher has it's a different teacher. subject. Yeah. Whereas in like elementary school, school it's the, the same teacher. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyways, so yeah, she's teaching, and she just happens to look out the window and see that a plane apparently is frozen, or she thinks it is, and. It's not really for some reason, she circles a window and then opens the window and is like, two. hey. And then, and then she says the one line that every student in school wishes their teacher would say. Jane Austen is a good kisser. <laughs> <laughs> I want to find yes. that about that story. Yeah, why can't we watch that episode? Yeah, that's, that's the first one. The second <laughs> line is uh, everybody take out your phones and turn them on. Go on to Twitter. Twitter. Go, Go on to Twitter. 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 Hashtag the planes have stopped. <laughs> So, and, so it's funny how, like, then the, the guy's, um, the guy, the guy, I, I guess he works at the office at the school, <laughs> says, hey, Clara, you have a call from, you know, at the office, and they're almost going to put me through to the prime minister, and she's, she just says casually, oh, you know, it's probably just a unit. She's just like, what? Like, nah. I mean, common teachers have second jobs. Hers is just, you know, yeah. unit. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. saving yeah. the world from aliens. And so, so then we see a sequence of her writing the, um, I guess non anti grav motorcycle now. Yeah. Because she never use it, uses anti grav anymore. <laughs> you know, Lame. big waste, but whatever. Right. <laughs> right. Lame. Lame. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, but I will say if planes were being frozen True. in time, if she True. used anti grav, she probably would be as well. Yeah, yeah, she mentioned the so, helicopter, which I liked. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like, it's like, Don't did, send a helicopter, you know why. <laughs> Um, so then she gets to unit with Kate Stewart, which Yay! again I love like Leftward Bridge Stewart. I loved him in the classic series; he was awesome, mm -hmm. and I even love his daughter, Kate, um, yeah, Kate. Kate. Mm -hmm. They're it's a great, great. I, I just love their leadership roles; they're really mm -hmm. good. Um, so and it's funny how Clara's kind of like the person. Kind of telling them how to do their jobs, pretty much. I mean, yeah, I was just kind of wondering. Yeah, yeah. Like, it seems like it seems like yeah. it seems like through the like, the difference. I guess the time gap between like the end of series eight and series nine is a lot greater than we think because yeah. I yeah. I see that just Clara's right. much more mature. She's no, she's more like confident. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, knows, yeah. she knows a lot more. Yeah. Because yeah. my big thing is that um, end of series eight, like. Clara and the Doctor were going their separate ways. Yeah, for Christmas cool. special, they like got back together and went on adventures. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it didn't really tell us much about like the yeah. Yeah. Of their relationship. Yeah. 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 No. It was a little like Amy Pond in their last season. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, the story. Yeah. Yeah. They were trying to have their own lives by at that point. But yeah. the Doctor just kind of shows up. No, yeah. okay. I told Alex this. I want your guys' thought. 
So do you remember in the 50th anniversary mm -hmm. when Clara and Kate come into the black archives, there's pictures on the wall. Mm -hmm. There's one picture of Clara and Kate in the almost exact clothing there are in this episode. And they, and they say that she's been there before. What's the odds that this happens to be the adventure that was before the 50th? Because, I, I mean, I mean, it's timey-wimey. Yeah, but way too timey-wimey. But, I mean, too timey it could be possible. It could be possible. Yeah. I don't think Moffat's intending that. I'm thinking they just wore the same outfits for a couple days in a row. <laughs> but, I mean, it's well, I, think, I, think, I think Moffat... I think Moffat knew about it, but we just don't know yet. We just don't know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. nothing. Yeah. Is. So, he knows that. Are there rumors that they're playing in the 50th this season? Or at least Capaldi's? Spot? Ooh, that'd be he, fun. Yeah, no, no, I hope but he, so. He, he, he's cool. still alive, though. He's still alive, though. Yeah, he came, no. he came. He came in in the 50th. Right. So yeah. Maybe it's the journey to where... I, I'm, I'm opening up a whole different can of worms here, but <laughs> maybe it's like the journey to where... Capaldi's doctor is for the 50th. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's how he finds Gallifrey, I guess. Yeah. 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 O only to save it again. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, so we get we get through all the you know the unit stuff, and apparently they have this thing that's called the Doctor Channel, <laughs> which they didn't really explain. No, yeah. no. How, no. However, in the 50th, they, there was um, this time clock that the Doctor did give unit, like it was a nuclear bomb thing mm -hmm. that only the doctor and the unit you knew about but they never never before in doctor who have they had a doctor channel yeah but i feel like the way they made it sound is that unit created it to talk with the doctor and they're just like doctor we have this thing that you can like talk to us through and it was peter quality so he's just like Why would okay I well but, but, <laughs> but i think honestly so guys honestly the way the way kate described it it kind of seemed like they did it earlier than Capaldi, because she was like, yeah. I doubt he even remembers we've had this for yeah. him. I mean, Doctor yeah. doesn't have the greatest track it's, record. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think that, I feel like the Doctor is that one friend that never texts you back. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, True. Connor. True. Connor. True. Connor. <laughs> someone else is using it. Yes. yes. So who is this? Well, um, first we see the lines. Uh, it's see you so, so fine. You so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Missy, you so fine. You so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Missy. And then it's a huge Missy. And then, of course, Missy shows up on the screen. She says, Pops her face It's out. like, hey, so we will be talking in square frame where she literally comes out of the screen and projects her image like, Insert techno well, she's band. Because she's a band. Yeah. Because she's a band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, yeah, so not dead, no big deal. I love how they just. That's like another time. Yeah. I don't, they're brushing a lot of stuff just on in the cover. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, that, that was a lot of this episode, was just brushing things okay, up. Okay, although in the second episode, she does a, explain how she, she does survive. It. Yes. So, yeah, which, Mark, I, which I appreciate uh, that they like. Matrix. Kind of saved it instead of like yeah, uh, uh, taking up time to explain yeah, it. She's, and, it. and it, yeah. it fits in with Missy's character. She's like, so yeah, I'm not dead, Local anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, clearly you know we find Missy still alive, which I get at this at this point. If you don't like Missy, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, for Missy real. Freaking, <laughs> she's I love, my favorite she's character my now. Next character besides the Doctor that I like about I, series yeah. nine because she. I don't know. I still like Clara. I like Clara. See, yeah. I, 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 I love Clara. I, I love, really I like Clara, but I'm really hoping love, she dies I love, soon. I love, I love, or at least, so like, I'm away sorry. Away it's just, I, I, I can't she's, she just go yeah, out and die? Just leave, like, yeah, 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 a yeah, lot yeah. of yeah. other companions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Like, like, Why are you kidding me? One of them is actually, like, like, new like who? Martha Jones. Even though I do not like Martha Jones, she, nothing bad happened to her. Yeah. Nothing no, bad. Why even, even, you could even argue that Amy Pond just got sent to the past. Yeah, but she died. Well, she but she lived to with Rory. Yeah. Didn't yeah, they yeah, adopt yeah. a kid? I don't know if they actually explained that in the actual. I don't episode, think they did. It was like they, an extra thing that they didn't end up putting into the episode. Yeah. But like he like wrote to his dad and was like, "We adopted a kid." And oh. He's the one dropping off this letter to you. Oh. It's really cute. Oh. <laughs> but okay, we have to but stop because that feels. Too much feels. All right, all right. So so anyways, um, so yeah, so. 
after, you know, Missy and talks to Unit and Clara. So, um, <clears throat> Missy and Clara meet. But I have to say, the, the, in both episodes one and two, the um, chemistry between Missy and Clara that is actually romance, really good. It's, it's so tacky. Really awesome. For real, I need a show just that. I just need a show of Missy and Clara, and I'd be happy for the rest of my life. Like a new spinoff series of just that. I think they want something to happen with Missy. Exactly. I mean, they just have such a good thing because Clara's like the doctor's best friend and Missy's just bad. Yeah, and the doctor's best friend. Well, well, I love the playfulness of uh, Missy. Not he, her, ma her. It's the master. Okay, yeah. calm down, calm down. No, no, no. Yeah, it's no. the master. She is the master. She is the master. It's, it's, it's the master. Sort of it's not. Title it's not John Sims crazy, but there's sort of like this playful <laughs> craziness of her. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like unpredictable. It's like just yeah. tons she of great just, lines. Yeah, she, yeah. Yeah. Michelle yeah. Gomez just nails that role. Yeah, on for sure. Yeah, I mean, sense. just in that scene alone, the amount of lines yeah. is just like, oh, you're the puppy. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's like see that couple. It's like see that couple over there. You're the puppy. Maybe when she kills the guy. Oh, yeah, that's it. No, I'm not good. <laughs> that's tense. I'm not good. 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 <laughs> I just love her so Scottish accent. Just so many memorable lines. Oh, yeah. 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 She's, 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 she's quickly becoming like the easy, easiest quotable character. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, for sure. Yeah. So, so, okay, so basically, nice. um, I want to be her. Not, not since Donna. So, oh, yeah. 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 So, okay, so Missy and Clara talk. Um, because and they try to figure out where the doctor is. Because clearly everybody is looking for the doctor. And clearly, Clara yeah. is the most confident person around. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, luckily they do find that the doctor is in eleven thirty-eight Essex, Scotland. Essex. Essex. Um, Scotland. 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 And um. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Dude. Dude. And yeah, so he's so like he's been awesome. he's been partying with Boris, who's the guy from the the prequels. Um, and he. Who is apparently he he. Pure Capaldi has nailed it. Comes in with a freaking guitar, running the tape, Dang. playing Axe. <laughs> We're an Axe fight. I mean, <laughs> yes. like, how bad a <laughs> person uh, this to is just the on a tank playing an electric. This is the doctor that I expected from Peter Capaldi, like, when, like, yeah. in the very beginning. Yeah, you see like, right. But in the context of the story, like, he's thinking that he's going to die, so he's just, he's just, like, he's just going crazy. Well, yeah. He does not care it's anymore. He doesn't, no. he doesn't care. He yeah. does care. And, yeah. yeah. and I it's love it. That's so I need it forever. <laughs> I, want, I want that to be his, like, new, like, costume. Just the, him with the t-shirt, the jacket. I think, I think for the most part it will be. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. yes. Yes. Um, but, yeah, so, clearly, so, yeah, so Clara and Missy are actually there when he does that, too, and then, um, so we get the, the whole thing about the confessional dial. Yeah, yes. uh, the doctor's yeah, confessional we dial. We, we don't know anything about it, so let's just move on. It's <laughs> kind of kind of like the name. That's that's yeah. like a little foreshadowing for the rest of the season. Yeah, yeah. It's in yeah. his pocket yeah. later yeah. on. Yeah. 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 yeah, I hope we find out. Probably not. We probably, probably won't. Not. We'll, we'll, we'll see. see. Like the doctor's name. We'll see. Yeah. What's his name? Who? Okay. So, anyways, he's on first. Um. So yeah, so we, we get first. we get the battle, um, and we get the doctor kind of messing around, and then we get pretty woman, and then we yeah, then we get the uh, the woman. the great chemistry between Capaldi and uh, Michelle Gomez as yeah. Miss. He's still my beating heart. Like, yeah. like, like they are like so great off each other. Every yeah. time we've seen the master and the doctor, they've been on opposite sides, but this yeah. time it was like we are like we're friends. We're friends. Yeah. We're like, bros now. We we respect each other. Bros we're friends. Um, and so... <laughs> wow. Moving on! <laughs> so basically, to say this in a in short, short, long story short, basically, Missy and Clara talk to the doctor. The doctor starts showing signs to Clara that she's never seen yet, but we obviously know he does have, like, more personality than he's shown Clara. Yeah. And then, um, so, and then, uh, Snake... Is choking boars. The doctor thinks it's the marbles that he gave him. It's not. Um, and then we find out that Col Colony Sark. Colony, yeah, Sark is actually there because Missy and Clara actually led him there. Um, Somehow. Yeah, and then Somehow. so the doctor, you know, the doctor's like, all right, this is what I've been waiting for. This is, you know, why I, I set Missy my confession dial because mm -hmm. this is my time to die. So they, 
they transport onto um, Sark's ship. And then we find the most heartbreaking part of that scene. We find Boris was actually a Dalek agent. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay. And I know I already asked this, but I want to ask it again so that you can answer it on film. Okay, so if there was a Dalek already there the whole time, how did they not know where the doctor was? Like, why were they... It might there might be an episode. Yeah. There might be an episode, that's why. Huh? You're thinking of, like, scouting out the area is no longer, like, an area that you have to deal with. It's an area of time. Okay. So they could have been like, oh, Clara and Missy are going to this period of time. Let's, let's send an agent there a couple years early and scout oh, the area so yeah. when the doctor shows up... Uh, we can take his turn. Yeah. 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 yeah so for him to be captured, though. But yeah, so yeah, so we find out the Daleks are obviously behind everything. Dun dun dun! Obviously. Surprise! 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 If they, you haven't seen get, all the posters, they get taken to Skara. Yeah. So well, first, They're getting ahead of us. First of yeah. all, the Doctor actually explains who Davros is to Clara. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we get the backstory of Davros, which is nice. Yeah. Because being here for like three seasons, it, it, she's still a noob somehow. Yeah. <laughs> And then, so we find out where Davros has lived, and so missing Clara are captured. Doctor goes to talk to Davros, and. You can see a soft shoeing and the. Yes, the soft, <laughs> soft shoeing. And then, I love her. So, so we kind of hear the conversation between Davros and the Doctor where Davros is like, I basically want to accuse you for just freaking abandoning me on that battlefield. It was kind of a dick move. It was. Yeah. It's like yeah. I love that scene where they like, like brought but in all see, those But see, okay, scenes. now yeah. here here's my little thing about that scene. Okay. The tenth Doctor at the end of series four actually agreed to save Davros, and Davros refused his help. So yeah. it's it's like so he's like it's like <laughs> Davros. The Doctor has tried to save you more than just at your. As a kid, yeah, it's like so. But maybe I, that was the one that like really stuck with him. So he's like, no, if you didn't help me, then then the I one, don't want your help. Well, that's, that's like his one, origins. That's, one, that's, that's like yeah, that's how he became the Davros. The, yeah, Davros yeah. that he is. Yeah, I mean Davros as a child was obviously different than Davros. With well, Daniel. yeah, but I mean I would think the doctor yeah, he was trying to save Davros should you know kind of make up for something, but clearly he didn't. This is what Darth Vader should have done. <laughs> yeah, we'll get through those references. But anyways, so, so yeah, so that so that conversation goes on, and then um, so Missy and Clara um, open the airlock, and it looks big jam. and it looks like they're walking in space. It was so they're re- cool. They're really yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. We find out that later they're because actually the on the planet. Because wasn't working, and they would have been sucked out of the airlock. Yeah. yeah. And there would have been no oxygen. And I think End this. Of episode one, this was the moment I was like, when the planet started showing up, I was like, yep, I know exactly where they are. And it, it, yeah. it reveals yeah. to be Scaro, the right. planet of the yeah. Daleks. My only problem is that it kind of built up as a twist, and it really wasn't that big of a twist. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. like it kind of happened. I was just like, I mean, as soon as, what? Oh, I mean, yeah, as, soon yeah, as we knew we were on a planet, we were like, hmm, I wonder what planet we're on. Davros! Davros? Daleks? What could we possibly do? Tatooine. But no, but I mean, the one thing I liked about it was the fact, um, like, last time we saw um, Scaro, it was the run down, basically beaten up city Mm -hmm. that Matt Smith's doctor was caught in. But then this time around, it's brand new. All the Daleks have rebuilt everything, and it's brand new. Brand new Scaro. Yeah. Um, new Scaro. New, new Scaro, Scaro, basically, yeah. Um, and the thing I liked about the new Scaro, it had every form of Dalek living mm. together in harmony. That was awesome. Yeah. That was a lot of callbacks. That was and my, yeah. my favorite callback, and yeah, I'm a classic who, so I, I, mm. I really have a lot of it. The special unit Dalek. Oh, I love that Dalek. It's the Dalek of the huge cannon instead yeah. of the eye. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. I. The, what was uh, the lantern one in like the second episode? That, that was. was like the, that was. Yeah. That was the special unit one. Yeah, the one. Yeah, he had oh, kind of oh, a lantern with oh, a long cannon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that one too. It was weird. That mm-hmm. weird. That weird one with like three light bulbs on his head. I was like, what is up with him? <laughs> I don't know what it Are is. Are you talking about Supreme? Yeah. Well, why I mean, does he, he, have, why does he have three he's, he's supposed to look like he's you know, kind of the, com- the like commander, a, like pretty much. Kind of it's like having a, it's like having a yeah. yeah. So the fact that they used old, new, and somewhat <laughs> middle-ish Daleks was really I I love yeah. it when they do that with Daleks. It's like and mixing old and new together. I really like that. And they kept yeah. the designs 
of like the doors and the way the doors open. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. like I just all the stuff I appreciate from what little I've seen of Classic Who, I'm working through it. But like, uh, that just made me go a little inside. <laughs> It's so work. And so outside. yeah, so obviously we see all the Daleks, um, and then um, so yeah, Missy and Clara get captured by a classic Dalek, which that was cool to see. Um, <laughs> and then so we see them bring brought into the room of all the other Daleks, mm -hmm. and we see the Targus is also there because remember before it was procured by Boris. 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 The new con. Yeah. <laughs> Boars! Boars! Um, doesn't have the same ring to it. Doesn't have the same ring. No, it doesn't. So then, no. so basically, Davros bees even more of a dick to the Doctor yes. and has the Daleks basically exterminate Missy and Clara, which really in the end we find out is a retcon and, because and, they and, survive. And the, and the episode, if we're just talking about the episode, that's a, it, we didn't know it was going to be like a second part or... A uh, whole series, and we kind of yeah. knew they were going to come back. That's a pretty huge yeah. moment. It if it was, was a finale, yeah. 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 If, if it was a finale, yeah. yes. It's because... like up there with Tenet getting shot um, at the. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. It was kind of like that. that but... okay. So then, clearly, you know. Alive. I was, I was mad at Clara for running though. I was like, yes, I, I was like, like they're not them. shooting at you yet. Like, wait until they like shoot, and then you can like, like she's ninja moves or like, something. The whole episode, Matrix. she's like the most confident yeah. person in the and room, she, and then she runs. And when she like, ran, she like didn't even like <laughs> sprint. She was just like, eh, oh no, I'm not yeah. in the yeah. way from the Daleks. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh no. Can we also just like <laughs> mention when Missy tickled the? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, again, Just the uh, only Missy. again, another thing we love about Missy is she does basically anything, anything that she, she wants. wants to, so, <laughs> she does what she wants, you're she's never the... expecting it, it's like Deadpool, but, <laughs> yeah. that's it, she's the honey badger, yeah. she does what she wants, I know. she doesn't care, yeah. so, yes, so she, she did with the psychic project projection, Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she oh, broke yeah. the yeah. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, so I so all that goes to the second episode, we find out they're still alive. Surprise, surprise. Um, um, and then Clara is like hanging upside down. Missy's She's just sharpening a stick. A stick. <laughs> and then they tell a story about how the top, my fan um, <laughs> So they, they tell a story. Oh my god. They tell a story about how the doctor at one point <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Um, you know, okay. he was he was Trying to like a time when he was without the TARDIS and without any help, and Macy basically says a time a time where he's happy, and so it, uh, the story that she tells, I'm, we're not going to go through it entirely. If you've seen the episodes, you know. Um, it's a really cool story. Why are you, it, wa why are you watching this if you haven't seen? Yeah, yeah. seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the episode. Watch the episode. Back to back. Pause it right what here. We will wait. Yeah, we'll yeah. stay right here waiting. We'll wait. Okay. Yeah. We're so it was awesome, right? <laughs> yeah. So Welcome back. Um, Welcome back. Stop that. So yeah, so we, we find out the story and so we get again more chemistry between Missy and Clara, which this time around is really interesting because they're like they're both realizing why the doctor always survives. He because he, yeah. he always thinks he's going to survive and that yeah. just drives but him to survive. Which which they kinda mentioned in the very beginning because mm -hmm. when the doctor was like, You just have to focus on the one, like you're yeah. not the yeah. 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 I wanna know the story about the vampire monkeys though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want the they just gave us that one visual, like your stereotypical like person holding a flashlight and a bunch of like eyes in the background. <laughs> It was very scooby another yeah. time. That's so, a story for another time. So, so come yeah. on, Moffat, please. So basically, please. basically, so ep basically, episode two is just Doctor and Davros talking. There's one moment where um, Davros they seems, have a heart to heart. Yeah, it's it's like they have a heart to heart, and it's so still, touching. It is yeah, touching, but then we all fall for the the familiar well, yeah. trick of it being yeah. a trap. Yeah. The well, whole no, because time. like I didn't trust anything. Like I, I let it touch me. Like it was heartbreaking for me too. But uh, the whole time I was like, I don't trust any of this. Well, no, for sure. Me. I was like, something's sure. gonna the go wrong. Thing about, well, like, that's why I think the fact that we didn't see Davos for such a long time kind yeah. of helps. Because yeah. then we get to like we see Davos. See we again. know he's bad, but yeah. like. We, we started getting that humane side, so we started yeah. to relate to it. Yeah. And personally, that's what I think makes great villains, are the ones For where sure. you just feel like, you oh, where they're they're, yeah, you see where they're coming from, you start to understand and their point of view. Yeah. 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 They, then they do something that's a total dick move, and then you hate like, them. I knew it! Yeah. They're villains, they can't help it. Yeah. Exactly. It's but, a, it's but the lucky, as, 
the Loki like Gollum yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. But it's you like see, Wilson Fisk is but, yeah, Wilson Fisk. Yeah. Basically, as you know, as everybody says, a good villain is a, a villain that thinks they're doing good, but in reality, they're actually doing bad. Yeah. yeah. But that's I kind of feel that's Davros because he felt it was, it was good that he yeah. made the Daleks, but in reality, it's bad that he made the Daleks. Yeah. Um, well, what do you think the about? repercussions are, though, now that the Doctor told him that he saved Gallifrey? Well, I'm, pre- then... I'm pretty sure Davros is either now actually really going to die or something, because later on... He's going to die in the finale. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, like... Is he not dead now? Wait, no. I, no. He got, I he got, he got, he got the regeneration energy. Yes, but... <laughs> so, it yeah. Was, I mean, as far as, like, I, it, I, I think he was right. revitalized at least a little bit. Yeah, like, just, from, from, just from that. Sure but I'm we're not entirely sure if he died in that, yeah. like, destruction with the... later on. I <laughs> doubt he did. I doubt... I mean, he survived I mean, so many on. other things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we did not see him die. And there's a so. reason that they had the doctor tell him, oh, Gallifrey's still there. Because now I feel like he's gonna but, go after it again. Because, like, that was his whole thing in the first place. With the but, then the, but then there's the fact that... Um, that the doctor n- knew the yeah, whole time that more. what what the hey, that hey, was, hey. hey behave. What the, is there's that? there's the fact that the doctor knew the whole time and admitted that he knew what the whole time what Davos yeah. was doing and let him do it. So he didn't just let slip that Gallifrey is back. Like that yeah. wasn't just like well, a moment of vulnerability yeah, for yeah. him. He knew what was going on the whole time. That was like on purpose. And I I've, yeah. I've heard so, people online like I've watched some reviews of other people's of this mm-hmm. and the the main criticism I've heard is that they made the doctor to the point where he knew everything from the beginning and like he it's like he's, he okay. said I knew this and I know it's a trap and I know all that and it's like can we go can we fast track back to the moment where uh, shh, I think I know you're I'm getting there I'm getting there <laughs> back track I mean I I'm, I know I'm getting there I'm getting there <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole so thing's been but lovely. um yeah, what was this? oh yeah um crap what was I saying. <laughs> you messed me up. Way to go, dude. Um, You're welcome. How the doctor knew the whole You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. So, order, like, and subscribe. Like, so like, yeah, like and subscribe. The, the, the doctor knew, and I mean, do I don't know. It's 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 you know, I'm I was fine with it because it just shows how clever he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, clever some people don't think that. Whatever. So I think if I'm correct, the one thing you want to backtrack to, and I, I did think about this. So. Davos is apparently crying for help, and apparently coming towards the Daleks, mm-hmm. but uh, as it's revealed, it's not Davros, it's really the Doctor running around in Davros' chair. So that, that, that was admit so it, bad. Admit it, you all had the exact, exact same, same nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> Just such <laughs> great writing. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. 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 Was fantastic. Was it was a lot yeah. of fun. A lot of good quoting. So yeah. much fun was happening. So, with that chair. <laughs> so yeah, so basically, um, so yeah, the Doctor is messing with Davros and the Daleks. Uh, Claire and Missy are kind of on their own mission trying to find the Doctor. At one point, they end up in the sewer slash graveyard of the Daleks. All the old decomposed Daleks are seen there. Kind of gross. It is it's kind so of gross. gross. Well, it's, it's a sewer. Yeah. So, I, mean, I mean, it's, it's a sewer. It's not even a sewer. No, it's, a it's, it's a graveyard. It's, 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 it's like a living like, sewer. Yeah, That's the gross part. Yeah, it's so... Yeah. And I have to admit, the the one part in the sewer I loved is when Missy was poking the Dalek, but then she got, she talked in this, like, um, Western accent. Yeah. I need to go back and watch it, because oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I know I missed parts of her dialogue there. It's, it's just so... And then the Dalek... Country, love it. Yeah. 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 And then the Dalek <laughs> blows up, and she's like, Wee! <laughs> yeah, I, I love that little weed. Did anyone else, like, in their mind, like, think back to Avengers Age of Ultron when Tony Stark finds yes! the second and thing and he just goes, Yay! Please be a secret door, please be a secret door. Yay! Yay! <laughs> That's oh, exactly yes! what I thought. That was awesome. So, so yeah, then Yay. once once they blow, they get the Dalek, Clara goes in the Dalek, hmm, where have we seen that before? A sign of the Dalek. They, yes. they knew what yeah. they were doing. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. totally getting flashbacks. I love the PTSD, like, like uh, like theme with that yeah. scene. Yeah, because we were all kind of like, scarred by that. And like, then, yeah, that yeah, was out. Different, even though it's a different Clara, she they still kind of remembers it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, tiny one. No, yeah. she tiny, for sure remembers, she no, 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 she she remembers it, doesn't it? She no, no, she doesn't. She no, no, she went. She was in the time Okay, thing. once again, how does that timeline work? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. 
Like, just I'm, doesn't say anything. I will accept like everything Zane, else about it. Work. Just work. tell me how the f <laughs> season finale ended. <laughs> yeah, that was I don't know. Really... One second, like, she was everywhere, then she was nowhere, and then John hurt. And what? that's, that's, <laughs> and then what? How did they get out of there? What? Okay, get John hurt now. John hurt makes sense. John hurt makes sense, but then. Yeah, <laughs> but nothing else. <laughs>
Yeah. Does? Um, so, yeah, eight, eight and a half to nine, somewhere in between there. Okay, Connor? Um, I'm going to continue the streak of the Apollo and say, like, somewhere between eight and a half and nine. 8.75, hey. let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> let's that. That's a very good writing, Like I said, the writing was brilliant in this. It had a compelling story. The way it was put together it kept you on toes for the first episode. It was a great mm -hmm. way to start season nine because we didn't have any transition. Mm -hmm. We haven't had switched yeah. companions. We haven't had a new doctor. We get to see There's a fluidity started to it started out. There's a and I actually am, I'm really glad that Missy's back in this episode. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't get to see her a lot throughout the first season. It was kind of yeah. like, who's Missy? Like who's Missy? Who's really? Missy? And then we see her in the finale, and that's it. Yeah. And so now that she's coming back, that was really exciting. So, you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> Here. I think it was a great story. It was well acted. The chemistry was on par. It told a very interesting story. It kept me engaged the entire time with the first part being like so much WTF. Mm -hmm. And then like the resolution is just as cool and like exciting yeah. and stuff. And it left me wanting more. And uh, I, I I left the room with the sunglasses thing. Um, I don't know what's up with that. I don't, <laughs> I don't necessarily like that. That's my one thing that just... Yeah. That the mole, the mole, the mole of the episode. Like, so, so you're in the range of probably eight point five nine. Yeah, not nine vampire monkeys. I want to know what. I, I don't want. I want to know that. I want to know that. I want vampire monkeys. Damn it! I want vampire, vampire monkeys. Damn it! Okay. Just, just as a short. Before That's you, just short. Before you just as a short. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Before he regenerates. Like before he regenerates. We need to we know the story. What if after? Monkeys. We'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Not after. Before he regenerates. <laughs> okay, and then. For well, it, well, it didn't necessarily explain that it was. Uh, Peter Capaldi, it doesn't have yeah, to be. Yeah, it was. It doesn't matter which face. The outline looks like Peter Capaldi. Well, 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 no, they, no, because there's a story, they never say it's Peter Capaldi. She says, yeah. it doesn't matter what face he is, we'll just give it to the other Yeah, she said they're all the same guy. Oh, yeah. They're all the same guy. Oh, yeah, they're all the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for me, myself, yeah, I'm pretty much with you guys. I'm. More <laughs> diverse group, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to agree so with much. I'm going to have to agree with so uh, Connor's 8.75. Mm -hmm. Score, and then I changed it to the like, You know, um, I don't care. You deserve it. But yes, yeah, so, I mean, um, I, 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 I loved, I loved the writing. Loved Missy. Loved Doctor. Uh, actually, loved the chemistry between a lot of the characters in the cast. Um, Ju, uh, I think it's, uh, it's like, Julie. Julian Bleach, I think, played Dad Ross. He was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dad Ross was amazing. Yes. And then the fact that old and new doubts were together, I always love it when they do that. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that's been our our discussion on the first two episodes of Doctor Who Series Nine. Are all of our um, rambling? So yeah, um, if you actually stay through this whole thing, you're awesome. You are a true fan. We love you. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so um, if you did enjoy this, hi YouTube viewer, uh, put a thumbs up below. Um, like it, like it. You will uh, dislike it. You will uh, like it. find you, and we will kill you. And we will get oh, a Dalek and we will exterminate you. We'll find yeah. her. You will find her. Uh, if you're gonna kill people, if they, did, if they didn't like it, then we'll just we'll let the Daleks do that. Yeah. 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 Basically, if you didn't like it, you're obviously a Dalek. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, anyways, <laughs> so basically, yeah. So, if you like it, um, if you have any comments on what we said, uh, put in the comments below. Uh, just know if you have any rude, really out there comments, I will remove it from the comments. Be uh, nice. I, be I'll nice. Be nice. nice. <laughs> We're innocent souls who can't handle harsh criticism. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Peace. Bye.